I was wrong about the chef. All right? I've said it. I said it was a pretty bad class or a pretty average class. I'm here to tell you, the later in the game you get, the better this job gets. Now, you know what? Someone said this in a video. Let's fix it right now. Boom. Look at this. We don't need... We'll, we'll be right here. Yes, I was wrong. Now, I want to caveat that by... Uh, first, yes, acknowledging I was wrong. But to be fair, in my opinion, pretty much all these skills are dog doo-doo. Like, maybe if you're going a full physical build, maybe the uh, essence of searing could be good. Maybe this could be good. Maybe that, blah, blah, blah. I think for the most part, these are pretty bad. If you have a samurai on your team, there's some value with really, really trying to get bleed on someone. But for the most part, um, I do not find these to be very good. Okay, so that's why I said the job was bad. However, there's one thing that I overlooked when I talk about how good the Sujimancer is. So if we go to the Sujimancer, like, it, it is kind of nuts. Like, it has, right now, my Sujimancer has 1,120 magic, all right? That's crazy. There's not another job in the game that I can get to have magic that high, even with max level 50 weapons, right? It's just like it's higher than that. However, the one thing that I was overlooking beyond the stats, most importantly, is, of course, the weapon brands. And I know the weapon brands increase your damage, and I know that they're important, but what's really, really important about it and why the chef is so good, let's put on our right out, correct outfit here. Is crits, 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 crits. You're see physical like D Dragon of Dojima doesn't suffer from this as much because your physical attacks can crit always. It doesn't matter. Also, I'm at 1,050 here, so I'm only losing about 100 ish um, magic uh, when I switch to this job. So that's not even that much, right? It's a small percent. It's less than 10 percent. Um, so, but the crits, the the Dragon of Dojima can crit with their physical hits, right? That is a big deal. And magic attacks cannot crit unless you have a weapon and unless you pick the Seal of Miracles. So the Suji Mancer, although I think is incredibly good and will easily carry you through the game, it'll carry you through the post game, it'll carry you through new game plus legend mode, and it'll carry you through the post game legend mode potentially. Um Everything up to that for sure, including the legend difficulty final boss was a joke. Very easy. But if you want to talk about objectively dealing the most amount of damage, I think you can't overlook the chef. And one, you can't overlook having a weapon, which is very, very good. Just in general, the weapon is good. All right. Having a weapon doesn't matter what it is. If it was a weapon that just had stats, but you could add brands to it, which is what it is, but it didn't have a passive effect. Being able to make it so your magic skills can critically hit. Then the rest is just kind of gravy. Make it so you could boost critical damage and your critical hit job increases. You might want to do the 20% crit rate for each status ailment. It depends. I don't find the chef needs it as much because the chef has built into them. They have their unique armor, the three star chef coat. Now, even though it's a seven star, three star thing, that's kind of funny. This has a chance of critical hit rate buff at the start of your turn. This is just going to start making you land crits like crazy, which is just good, right? I mean, it's not always going to proc, but over the course of a fight, you're likely to end up getting to three stacks of crit buff, and then all your abilities are critting, which means they're doing over double damage. You pair this with the wondrous drink, suddenly you're doing like quadruple, just insane damage. Uh, Very, very, very powerful, okay? And uh, beyond that, the weapon also... Increases MP cost of skills, but boosts skill damage in return. So your skills are doing more damage. You're more likely to crit. You're critting for lots of damage. Now, the downside of the chef, in my opinion, is that I think their skills kind of suck. So you, I do think that the earlier you are in the game, the worse this class is. And the later you get in the game, the better the job, job class job is. You know, I don't think that most of what it has baseline is very good. However, if you bring over a powerful ice attack, a powerful fire attack, and a reasonable, because there's not that many options, lightning attack, and you make sure you bring over Wonder Cocktail, I think you've just got, like, one of the best jobs in the entire game. You just need to use your inherited skills to make up for the lack of good stuff. Because, to be honest, that equipment is so good. 
having any weapon is good that's why the host is could be really good too right just having a weapon is going to be powerful because then you can crit with your abilities and that is really something that the suji Mancer is overlooking i know people said you're overlooking brands that having a weapon is strong and you want that on the suji Mancer. and i was like yeah boost fire damage boost ice damage who cares just use accessories and have higher magic you don't need that stuff i was overlooking the crits all right and that i apologize and as long you know so i was wrong about the chef now again I think early game, the chef is still bad. I think the chef doesn't become good until you get both its unique armor and its ultimate weapon. I think that's really when it takes off. So let's go ahead and we'll do a fight here and I'll kind of show you my wombo combo for why I think the chef is so good, right? I was, this is already gonna be in a YouTube short. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't, I don't know, but let's go ahead and show it here. Let's make sure I have my stuff equipped by the way though. The one thing I do want, we're going to do slightly less damage, but I don't know if I'll have enough MP if I don't have the War God's Talisman, which is fine. Um, and I like having the wizard hat. Th this is my grinding gear. That way, um, grinding gear games. That way I could just keep doing this sustainably. Otherwise, you run out of MP too fast because the MP costs are high. But all right, so here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to Harmonious here. And you're going to want to pay attention to the top left of the screen, which is where I'm currently at. So I'm going to take this over here. You're going to want to look at these damage numbers because likely we're going to crit something. And uh, so we're probably going to crit something, but not everything, right? So you'll be able to see the damage uh, of critting versus not critting. Let's go ahead and start here, right? Just get the damage, but the damage isn't really important. This is about getting the magic buff on us. And now we are going to use our wonder cocktail. You'll notice here, we're not going to use a single chef ability. And I never use the chef abilities. That doesn't mean that they're not always good, but I'm a... My character has got magic stats. We're magic casters. So mostly what we're going to be doing is the inherited skills. And we're pretty much never going to touch what the chef actually is kind of built around. Um, we're just utilizing its increased damage and crit chance because spells critting is powerful. All right. So we're at level two magic. I'm not going to spend the other 100,000 to get up to the level three. We're just going to do this and we're going to do the Don Doko beam. So let's take a look at the damage here in the top right corner. Sorry. 17,000 or 9,000 damage, right? Like, it's just crazy numbers, man. It's it's absolutely nutso but so. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could go into the chef in more detail. What character is best as the chef? What blah blah blah. I still think if you're watching this and you're in the semi early game, you're in the mid game, you just unlock the chef. I would say don't even worry about it. Don't use it. But once you get its armor by doing the dungeons, and once you grab its uh ultimate weapon then that's when you're going to want to start power leveling it right you want to make sure you have a high inheritance and then it's basically going to be good on any magic caster now the reason you could use it on tomi i think that i think then you're fighting for slots because the the cabbie has a lot of really good skills and so does the um if, if we're gonna let's look at the characters really quick here this is all part of the video after all it's not a tangent like, who's best with it? I, if you're looking at it's a male class, right? So I think Tomizawa is not the best fit, even though he's a mage, basically, because Cavi has a lot of good abilities and Host has a lot of good abilities. So I don't know. You would rather have all those abilities, I think. And I think it's fine because you could still get most of the value. You could still crit on your abilities. Um, you don't necessarily need the increased damage from your skills, and you don't necessarily need the crit at the start of your turn. I like having... A tankier character but i mean you could use it on tomizawa have ichiban be a host instead have him have the tanky host armor there's things you could do zao i don't see any inherent reason to do it namba i think namba would be great at it the issue is you got to give up namba's really really good ultimate weapon but i think that can kind of be okay because you're going to be critting more um and that'll probably make up for the lack of fire resistance that you're lowering on enemies but namba has a really good super weapon as the homeless guy so i'm not leaning towards it adachi just he has an aoe attack that lets him stun let's take a look it's on his detective it's like an aoe fire attack i mean that's like fine but you're mostly going to be bringing over other like host abilities then right you're going to go pick one thing from each job and then maybe you bring this ability you know it's not like insane but, I mean, I think Adachi could be a decent chef. No inherent reason why he couldn't be. Uh, Kiryu just got better options, right? You got the Dragon of Dojima. It's just very good. What is this? This isn't accurate. I got... Look at this. 
on the top right, it says that I have 10 soul, 9 rush, and 10 body. But if you actually go in and look, I have 10 tech, 10 soul, and 9 and nine body. So it's like, it, it, it's opposite there. It's, it's uh, UI is messed up. Uh, Joongi, I think Joongi just, like, he could probably do it, but he seems he's more physical. So if you want to go, the re I don't think the chef is that good if you're going full physical because there's lots of ways to do crit and stuff. You might want to grab a couple abilities and getting your crit rate up, making your skills do more damage. It's still all pretty good, but I think, like there's a lot of options for physical stuff where you can make a lot of interesting combinations. I think the chef really stands out as a magic class support for making your magic spells actually be able to crit pretty frequently um, because there's not a lot of ways to do that easily passively over time. And it's got a great weapon for mages as well. It's obviously a hybrid weapon that could be used for both, but overall, I think I was wrong on the chef. The later you get into the game, the more powerful it gets. And, uh, resist being drunk interesting she could hold her liquor but she gets very mad quickly that's actually pretty negative i'd rather have her get drunk easily how many enemies are trying to drunk you be honest not that many anyway that's gonna be it for today guys thank you so much for watching per platypus is per platypus i'll see you on the flip-flops you guys have a good day and let me know if there's any other jobs you think that i'm just straight up wrong about maybe i'll revisit it and i'll see some like special kind of like synergy that i wasn't seeing before because the chef like i said um i just didn't see the synergy there until later in the game and now i'm using it and it's just really powerful um finally if you want to support the channel i would love it if you would consider becoming a youtube member it'll give you like highlighted comments and prioritize you know i'll be able to see your comments easier um also if you join the live streams you should get emotes and stuff there'll, there'll be more details about it down below but once i start getting some i'll start doing shout outs for you guys as well and whatnot. Anyway, much love for platypuses, for platypus. See you on the flip flops. I don't know why I say that. Maybe it's because this game's in Hawaii. Peace.